Hey friends, welcome back to the Mom Edits YouTube channel. I am Amy and we are talking about a fantastically exciting, amazing topic today, denim, but specifically barrel jeans, my personal favorite style silhouette to wear right now and maybe for the rest of my life. Now, if you're here watching this video, chances are you also love barrel leg jeans. That's why you're here to kind of like gab about them with me. But in the event that you came over here and you're kind of on the fence and you're not sure, let me just tell you that one of the reasons that I think they're the greatest pair of jeans, at least the greatest pair of jeans silhouette, of all time is because they're a loose baggy style jean in essence right like i think that they're cousins but they're the easiest loose baggy style jean to wear so we're gonna break down some of my favorite pairs that we have in my closet i do say some because if i showed you all of them that i had i'm it would yeah we're not gonna do that i'm not Let's take it back to the first pair of barrel jeans that I ever got. I've been saying it's the Gap pair from 2022, but when I was brainstorming about this video this morning, I realized it was not Gap that was my first pair. It was actually this white pair by A. Goldie. They just called it the Luna jean. And when I saw it, I was like, that is so unique. That is so cool. I grabbed it. I made multiple posts about it. This jean truly kind of changed the course of my wardrobe, which is like a big deal to say. It's when I entered into that coastal grandmother phase except it's not just a phase it's now a lifestyle I fell in love with white denim because of this pair I stopped wearing skinny jeans because of this pair like this is kind of the gateway jean into my barrel leg obsession if you will these are extremely comfortable they're 100 cotton they also use organically grown cotton a goldie is really big about that they have a button fly which honestly most barrel jeans i'm finding go with the button fly i'm not sure if that's a coincidence or what and they have a really fun frayed hem which is nice if you are shorter than me because you could just chop these off so a goldie's luna peace jean is not only my oldest pair that i've ever had but still to this day one of my most favorite and I owe a lot to this pair of denim from my wardrobe and what it's done for me. Then after that I got the Gap barrel jean. Now the original barrel jean that Gap released in 2022 I believe quickly sold out and did not come back. We were all very bummed at TME. There was many of us who loved that jean from them and we went all of 2023 without seeing it and then this year they relaunched it. Originally we were excited because we were like oh they brought it back but they are not the same pair of jeans. They are different in almost every way except for the fact that they are a very great subtle pair. They're not like an extreme horseshoe silhouette. They're a lot easier to wear. I did an entire blog post dedicated to these. Actually, I might have like multiple blog posts on the Mom Edit now dedicated to these. So if you want the full rundown, every nitty gritty detail and opinion that I have about these, you can go find them. They're super comfortable. They're extremely soft. They fit your body like a glove. It's worth mentioning that I did go down a size from my normal so that it could mold to my body because it's 100% cotton. But if you want it just like wearable straight from opening, you can get your true size and it's very comfy. Everything about this pair of denim, when it comes to a barrel leg, they crushed, they nailed. Oh, and look, this one's a zipper. So that's me eating my words on everything barrel leg has a button fly. Whereas the A Goldie pair is my personal favorite, this Gap pair is what I recommend to anyone and everyone who wants to try out this style of jean for the first time. Or you're just a super fan of barrel leg jeans and you haven't tried these yet, you gotta go try them. Then we roll into what I think is arguably the most famous pair of barrel leg jeans. These two kind of put them on the map. They went super viral on social media. They're very similar to each other, which I think is wonderful because it's kind of like the expensive designer version and the more affordable budget-friendly version. And that is the Citizens of Humanity horseshoe jean and then Free People's Good Luck Barrel Jean. Now, there is a perfect example of those words getting like mismatched and used interchangeably because these are essentially like carbon copies of each other when it comes to the shape of them, but one is calling it a horseshoe, one is calling it a barrel jean. It gets a little confusing. These are phenomenal. These are extremely fun to wear. If I started with Citizens of Humanity. This is the pair that like haunted my dreams and I had to try. Fell in love with them. They're wonderful. They are worth the money in my opinion. However, when Free People came out with theirs, I was like, they're so similar that you don't really need the Citizens of Humanity pair unless you're like a super fan of that brand. Free People does have some long inseams. They're extremely hard to come by. I feel like they're never available on the website when I look. But if you're tall and you can find a long inseam in these, I do recommend it because I wear my true size only so that they sit lower on my hip, more like a mid-rise, almost a low-rise, so they get that extra length. 
if I were to size down, like most people say to do, they'd be a little bit higher up on my hips, which is where they're supposed to be, but I wouldn't like the length on my legs. Citizens of Humanity pair is worth it, especially if you're tall, because it fits where it should on your waist while having like the right amount of length and 5'10". Whereas the Free People pair runs big, you should size down. I stay with my true size so that they sit lower and I get that extra length. Man, being tall, who knew you had to like do math and strategize buying your jeans. So in summary, barrel jeans are the greatest thing alive. The A Goldie pair is my personal favorite. They just fit my personal shape and preferences the best. They are hard to come by though. Gap's pair is being launched right now in all the washes, in all the inseams. We love Gap for that. They do short, they do long, they do tall. God bless Gap. For that and they're a budget-friendly option another decently budget-friendly option is free people they're also just extremely viral extremely fun I personally love free people a lot plus free people makes the really cool like unique washes unique patterns so that's a reason to watch the free people website if you really like a unique style a unique pattern a unique color if you are tall if you like a really good quality denim if you just like this brand in general citizens of humanity this is a pair to check out they're a great investment pair. all right friends that's it for me if you if you have any questions specifically about the pair of jeans I talked about, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you have a favorite pair of barrel jeans that I did not mention that I don't know about, please put them in the comments because it's kind of a little bit of a personal goal of mine to try them all. I am starting to just dabble into mother brand in their pairs. I don't quite know enough about them, nor have I worn them enough around to really be able to give like a firm opinion on. So that's why I didn't include them. But if there's any other brands of barrel jeans that you love, that I did not mention, let me know. Help a girl out and then I'll help you out because I'll review them for you <laughs> if you want me to. This is going nowhere. As a reminder, we have everything linked up that I talked about in the caption below. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Mom Edits YouTube channel. We will see you again soon.